There's no sugar coating to you. Oh, I'm finna get married, bro. Watch, watch. I'm finna get married. I'm finna have kids. Watch. Give me six months. <laughs> <laughs> For the kid and marriage? So you will be have somebody pregnant give within me 12 six months. months. Give me 12 months. <laughs> Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure yep. to have this man back in oh, the neighborhood. Yeah. Vince Staples, welcome back to the neighborhood, bro. What's up, what's up? How y'all feeling? Well, we've been good, man. You been busy? Yeah, man. Not, not for busy the past couple weeks. But really? Yeah, though. I just trying to take it down a little bit. Um, we just put this show out a couple months ago on Netflix. So. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, been been running around for that, and then kind of got home and just been chilling. Hey, man, your show on Netflix, which I I love the title because you are cleverly hit it there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Very hard to find a Vince Staples show starring Vince Staples. Yeah, but it's crazy, man, because everybody always felt like there was a show in you. Every, you know, in the neighborhood, we always felt you were very entertaining, and we knew that there was a <laughs> yeah, show man. coming. And how did it feel? Not just making it, but once you knew that it was made and it was time for the public to see it. I know you just get grateful, you know, you kind right. of relieved from all the hard work. It uh, was years in the making. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you, you try to get people to to give you a chance to do it. Then once you get the chance, it's the years that it takes to kind of develop it. And then you have, if it goes to the slate or not, so just to kind of pass a lot of those checkpoints, you mm-hmm. know, you're grateful to finally be able to get on platform. So it, it, it was a very relieving thing. Was it harder than what you thought? Uh, no, it wasn't that oh, hard really? at all. Because yeah. you know how people say, man, you need to have a TV show. Oh, man, you need to. So... It was once you got in, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, this is the, I, I know it's a lot to it and there's a process to it as well. But it wasn't more than what you thought or thought it would be. I mean, the process is extensive, but right. it wasn't to the point to where, you know, I got kind of just disheartened about it because right. everybody has a voice and a job for a reason. When you get into those things and it's an opportunity, you know, right? So you can't get too caught up in yourself and what you planned on doing Mm -hmm. to think that you're kind of bigger than the program so I didn't enter it with that kind of mind state I was looking at it as if you know it was a it was a slim to none chance for it to even happen right so after it happened everything was kind of just looking up you know how you you say man I know my life I know the city I know this I know that and then there are also powers that be and you got to understand well it is a tv show too Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying did you have those not roadblocks but did you come did those situations happen as well I think it was even kind of in the reverse okay like there were more more things that i wanted to do that were um essentially heightened that weren't as um down to earth because it is entertainment and i mm-hmm. think um perspective is everything right so when you created something you had the opportunity to kind of shift perspective and kind of lean heavy on the perspective or how you see things even though that might not be realistic like you have people that's not from california right that'll tell us all the time like oh it's a beautiful place and people that grow up here might be like oh this is the hood this is together yeah, it's man. all perspective right so you know my perspective on the show i wanted to make it seem a little bit more like whimsical a little bit more like <laughs> um kind of ridiculous and um you know safe and pleasant right because to kind of contrast the things that were happening in the show hey man we just saw people were talking about uh roadblock with key west florida the florida keys Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about how, you know, oh, it's a bad look for us. That's not just the way it is. It's not fighting in bars and this and that. Is there a misconception that you wanted to make sure didn't happen when it came to Los Angeles or Long Beach? Yeah, I, I, I just didn't want it to look, um, you know, like colors. Right. You know, like <laughs> the kind of. Yeah, man. Yeah, the kind of hyper. Uh, violent uh kind of dark you know things happen as well as they do everywhere else in the world but i think just the depiction just in music and film kind of makes it look a a little bit more um extracurricular than it actually is but being from here too vince i didn't look and say oh that's not it like there were times when y'all were hitting the streets and i knew the streets Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i i I knew the swap meet i knew the corner I, i knew what the reference was and that's just from being here and you don't have to be from here to love the show as you've been seeing mm-hmm. with with all the accolades that you've been getting. Did you grow up always watching TV? Because we know you're creative. Yeah, I think I think TV and um kind of movies and stuff was mm-hmm. it's it's just more entry level than a lot mm-hmm. of other, you know, things that you can consume. It's on TV, TV free. They playing movies on TV, you know, right, yeah, shows man. on TV. So just kind of spend a lot of time with my grandparents and you know, not having not having the most kind of coming up. We watched a lot of TV because mm-hmm. you can sit in the house and live room and grandma house. Shut up, yeah, and, you man. know if you need something, get some water and go back in the living room. What did you watch? Uh, with my grandparents when I was really really young, I just remember watching a lot of sitcom stuff like yeah. Mash, Twilight Zone. Yeah. Oh, so you were vast. 
Yeah, yeah, because my grandparents, my parents are old, so just, you know, you go to your grandma, your grandpa's, they didn't have no remote, they got the TV <laughs> with the job, so. You the remote. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. So you watch a couple things here and there, and as you get older, you know, I remember uh, Reno 911, Chappelle Show. Oh, yeah. South Park, things like that, which kind of infer kind of your humor as you get a little bit older, going to my pop's house because he had cable. He was doing it up. Look at all these channels. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he can't, couldn't wait for him to come home because, you know, he's going to get some cable. <laughs> but, um, you know, then you watch Martin, you know, stuff like that, Fresh Prince. So I, I, I watch, you know, the regular stuff everybody else watch. But I think early on watching a lot of that stuff with my grandparents kind of mm -hmm. helped give me a unique perspective. Were you always creative? Uh, nah. Nah? Nah, I never drew. How did you, and we probably talked about it, but you didn't draw. How did you fall into music? Because at first... Music got to be just a part of your life because music is our soundtrack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think um, I was I, I didn't make music. I was like 14, 15. Like, I never even thought about it. But I, I, I stopped going to school already. So um, at what age? Fourteen. You say you stopped going to school? Yeah. yeah. Damn, I heard that. Yeah, I, it wasn't it wasn't intentional. It just, All right. You know, happened how it happened. It happened how it happened. You couldn't but, go to the campus. Nah, I was I, I went to I think I went to six schools in uh, ninth grade. I yeah, went to man. three. Uh, you went three to, you did the tour. Yeah, I did the tour. I did yep. the world tour, and I retired early. And, yeah. You know, do the injuries. <laughs> and, um, yeah, do the injuries. Yeah, yeah. and then I just kind of the people around me was making music, and I was just around. It's just something that I tried one day. Like I never really had a big interest in it. I think mm -hmm. I found more of a love and interest for music after I started doing it. Right. And um, you know, which I'm grateful for. Hey man, if it wasn't music, then what? I mean, people can sit up and say, oh, you know. He, he, you know, left school in the ninth grade. Well, if it wasn't music, what? But if it wasn't... Warehouse job? Yeah, uh, yeah. Jail? You're gonna, <laughs> something. But you was going to make something happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm simple, bro. Like, I, I, I <laughs> never really wanted, like, I know it sounds crazy, but I never really wanted much out of life, which makes it hard to navigate certain things when you get there. But I'm simple. So um, mm -hmm. I ought to just try to make it work. Right. You know, that's just kind of how I Just work somewhere. Music. Yeah, like, I was, I tried to get jobs. They weren't messing with me, man. I tried, tried with a... <laughs> I tried when I was young. I tried it, uh, Journeys at the Lakewood Mall. <laughs> yeah. I did the application. They wasn't, wasn't messing with me. I tried the van store. I tried uh, uh, Staff Pro, Staff Mart, whatever it's called, wherever Deuce was working at. Ain't work. So I was like, whatever. Did you have any other jobs before music? I never had a job. No. Never had a so job. music is your job. Well, it's like when you 15 and you ain't going to school and you want a job, they're going to be like, what's this nigga doing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my first job didn't happen until uh, I got on radio. Like my first real job. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I knew how to eat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like you, uh, you, you had those situations where you, you yeah. know how to eat. And I think... A lot of the times, you know, you can be ignorant of your surroundings, and I wasn't one of the people, so I was like, "This ain't gonna really check out." Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. that. So. This this ain't no long term for me. Yeah, exactly. So you you start doing music. You do you fall in love with music, or is it just something that you're doing at the time? Uh, I think that's a hard kind of question because I feel like I never really took time to um kind of process that. Right, right. Most of that moment, like with music. It just gave me something to do, so yeah. I didn't have to be hanging out. Because right I know now. I saw something, man, and I, and I almost did it right now. You know, and I saw something. I don't know if you was with the Breakfast Club or something, bro. But it was like that. When did you fall in love with hip hop? Was that you who answered yeah, that? Yeah, because it's like, but <laughs> hip hop specifically is such a hard, uh, hard question because it's like I don't remember like no other music. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when did you? And, and you know, I asked that question. When did you fall in love with hip hop? But yeah, so you was well, like, I think I'm just it was at, always there. Well, I'm just at an age to where hip hop is kind of more. I, I just turned 30 not too long ago, so I'm at an mm -hmm. age to where hip hop has always been yeah, super dominant and super successful. So I never had that moment to where it was a new thing. Or so even if you were around when hip hop came out in the 80s, you were able to yeah. see it spread to the West Coast. Because it was the there. Midwest. It wasn't like you just woke up one day and I can ask you, man, when did you fall in love with your mom? Like, dude, I love this. Yo, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Been there. But as far as music, like, I think I grew a stronger appreciation for music because it kind of helped me stay out the way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I, I haven't um, I haven't really processed that fully, but I, I just know I've always been grateful for it. Like, I think that's why I've been able to um, kind of stick through a lot of the growing pains of music and kind of the pain and dude stage that a mm -hmm. lot of people don't like. That was my favorite part. Like, I don't I liked when you could do oh, the really shit. Yeah, that shit was easy. Yeah. You get to travel and I have to, like, headline. You got 15 minutes. You don't got to be in the house. <laughs> That's cool. Like, when I get to get up out of the hood for a little bit and I yeah, got 15 yeah. minutes. Don't That's really have a trailer. You just standing over there. Yeah, hanging. Ain't nobody bothering you. You get to watch everybody show like that. It, it, was, a, um, it was a new experience. Is being famous a gift and a curse? 
Uh yeah, I mean no, right? I don't think so. I think it's the kind of person you are, and like mm. kind of how you carry yourself. You yeah, because you don't run anything. after it. Nah, and I feel like it's a lot of people that don't. Right. Um, and like you got people that's you know hyper famous that just carry themselves a certain way and don't have certain um certain problems. But I think you know if you feed the monster, like you get what you get. Yeah, man, it is what it is. That's on you. Like I never see, and granted, I don't go out a lot either, but I never see you out. Oh no, you never gonna. Yeah, that. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Or, or even in social media, you won't see something where somebody say, "Oh yeah, such and such and such and such and Vince Staples and such and such." Like, nah. Well, I mean, it's a. I I don't know these niggas. Right. <laughs> so yeah. it's I mean, not. Yeah. It's, like, why would I be here with them? Yeah, and it's like I. We think, need y'all in the picture. <laughs> My man Arnold putting the picture together. <laughs> we need y'all in the picture. Yeah, like that's always made me. I hate that. I, I hate getting in the picture where you don't know nobody, man. He be making me get in the picture sometimes. Right. I be like, of course, Hell supposed nah. to. Yeah, and I be <laughs> like, bro, if you don't leave me alone, bro. I'm gonna get a bite. But I, you know, you might catch me like it's something. Um, Regular, you know, right. like some, you know, the people I grew up with, are like some family stuff. I do stuff like that, but you know, it's just not of my interest. Yeah, man. And some people just like love being in the place to be, and it don't seem like you like that. Well, nah, it's just I never had those interests, bro. Like, I wasn't like really on the party tip or nothing like that when I, I was younger. No, not you. <laughs> yeah, like it's huh. not for me, I man. Find that, I find that difficult to believe. Well, really, <laughs> I find that easy to believe. What's the difference between Vince Staples on the show, Vince Staples' show? Is there a difference between Vince and Vince? Uh, yeah, I think that um, kind of the way the show was written, kind of being more reactionary to the environment and like playing, um, playing, playing the straight man and like whatever the, I guess the punchline <laughs> of the episode was supposed to be, was a little bit um, different. I'm going home way before that. Hey, like, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm five gonna... minutes in, I see the mat like theme park. I see the mascot. I'm going home. Right. Once my mama start tripping the family union, I'm going home. The bank robbery, like I'm acting like I don't know you. Like, right. I, 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 <laughs> oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I talked to you when we get back. <laughs> you know what I loved about the show as well, man, is that it wasn't continuous. Mm -hmm. I would just pop up and it was like just a new episode, a day in the life of or whatever. Yeah, at that I moment. mean, when I was younger, man, I think about shows like Reno 911 and just stuff that was kind of sitcom, but just like kind of like slapstick comedy more whimsical. It was like when stuff is coming out once a week or whenever the release schedule was, things felt a little bit fresher. I think with streaming, we try to make everybody watch everything at once. So just kind of right. continue the storyline, but. I just wanted to do something different. Like, you know, for better or for worse, I just didn't want to have something. Man, I went through serious. five episodes quick as heck. For as long as it took y'all and, and talking with Kenya, when it's coming, and Corey and you, when is it coming? And then when it dropped, I'm like, five eps, which is cool because of the demand mm -hmm. for more. Yeah, and just streaming, it's like, I'm going to be real, bro. They only giving people eight. Yeah, for the, yeah. For the, so the fact that I was able to get five and not one or like, a, you know, a pilot and they test a pilot and go like, you know, it's all a stepping stone. So hopefully we get more. And, you know, oh, yeah. and if not, you know, it's plenty of opportunity out here. Just trying to keep pushing in the media. Is there anyone that came up to you that surprised you that said they watched the show? Uh, Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of people. Uh, I'll tell you later. It oh, really? Like, no. yeah, it was a lot of people. It was funny, too. Was, was it celebrities? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. just weird. It's like, bro, like, <laughs> thank you, but that's weird. Really? Yeah, like, it was hella weird. Is there one you can share with us, or you want to just do it all off air? Because I, I respect it. I got to tell you off air. Really, though? No. Nah, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> that was, because he cool. I never seen I never seen him before. But there's a lot of niggas I done seen before. Right. That was like, calling like, hey, it's whoop de whoop Hey, and man, did like, he give right, people license to feel like they can walk up to you? Uh... Like regular people, just anyone. Like Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake don't. I don't think he know you. Right? Yeah. If it wasn't a show, then I, if right. without the show, I don't think they would ever. What's well, like you know how you know uh, you know certain people is. It's like they probably uh need an entry point to have a conversation. Right. With, so probably time and place. But for him, I'm pretty sure he had no idea what was going on until you know he seen the show type really situation. Really though. So that was just funny. Hey man, I wonder what his what his perception of you are or the show was. You know, I, I wonder yeah, like exactly. when you say what I wonder what did he get out of the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that was that was that was a funny one. That hey man, and I didn't know what was real and what was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, you well, know? that was an important part of the show because it's like you know you think about growing up in these areas. A lot of times you got um. You know, paranoia, and you got a lot of times where you got these, you know, okay, so boom, you know, bullshit ass stories. Like, <laughs> yeah. they start lying, and you don't know, you got to figure out what really happened with it. Hey, man, the episode where you were getting chased through, mm -hmm. I was I was running with you. And when, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When yeah. you pulled up, in my, I was like, oh, man. And, and, and it was a situation where I was like, damn, I wonder how close to reality some of that is. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, sure. and not for you. You know, somebody else, whatever it may be. But I was like, that's how it really happens. Yeah, I mean, you know, so a lot of things. When you walked out, I was like, uh-oh. Yeah, a lot mm. of things happen. A lot of things happen to where we like, you know, 
nobody gonna believe this. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? In our day to day lives, and that was just kind of playing with that and kind of make it a little bit more surreal than usual. Just have you watched effect. it back? Like the entire five episodes? Like yeah, I was I was watching it. You know. Every day for four months. Yeah, but it, and is, stuff like is that. it a difference? Can you watch it still? Because you know what it was and what it is. And you know yeah. how sometimes even with music, it's like you'll record something and then you'll say, okay, like, now now they can have it. I've had it. I've been next to it for so long. Hmm. Were you next to it for so long, but did you get a chance to see the final, final, like how we watched it? Oh, yeah. I, you know, I, got able, I was able to see the final. Uh, luckily, I had a... Uh, a lot of people don't have, but I was able to kind of approve everything and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I saw it from there, and I saw when it got on service. And, um, you know, I'm happy with how it turned out because it is it is hard to do. It is very difficult, especially, you know, being a smaller show. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we wasn't the smallest show, but for what I was trying to get get across, we needed about quadruple the money. Really? So, I, and, you know, everybody kept telling us, you know, you know, this is this is out of the budget, this is out of the budget, but everybody fought, you know, hard and pushed to make the most of what we had, and I'm real grateful for the staff and everybody that worked on the No, party. it came together well, bro. Yeah, is it so-called, what's not even more difficult, but is it harder to do a television show, or is it harder to do an album? Um, Or is it different? I think I, I think the, I think a television show would be harder just because the moving parts, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's as heavy lifting as an mm -hmm. album would be. Album you got to do a lot more than you got to do for a show. Mm -hmm. Did you write on on the TV show mm -hmm. as well? Yeah. So with writing, was it different between writing for Vince Staples show and writing an album, or or do you do you feel like your album, man, my albums are kind of. Well, the show is easier because it, it just it don't got to rhyme. Right, right. So it's like, <laughs> that is like, it's, it's, that's one point. Yeah, yeah it's way yeah, easier. One, yeah. The structure don't got to rhyme. You don't need hooks. So, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, when you break it down. What's going down with Vince Staples music-wise? Uh, we got a tour lined up. Yeah. Uh, we, we actually playing two festivals. We playing a lot of Palooza. In and, uh, gazebo, Chicago, right? we playing Gazebo in Louisville. With Jack Harlow. Yeah, it's Jack First Festival, so shout out to my white son. Yeah, you know, um, go ahead now. And then we got, uh, I don't know, Jack... Jack used to open up. Jack opened up for me on his 18th birthday. And he was booming. Like it, really was, it was early. He was he Where y'all at? Were y'all in Louisville? Yeah, it was in Louisville. Okay, so did you see him? You know yeah. how sometimes you don't even see the opening act? Yeah, well, I mean, I be I just be trying to listen to all their music because mm -hmm. um, I don't open up for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that, you know, whoever you choose to open up, their music is going to work with your fans. That's like they're going to digest it. But he was, he probably remember. We was doing White Man Can Jump. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Calmatic was like, Hey, uh, Jack want to talk to you. I, like, I know Jack. He opened up for me uh, like a long time ago. We did a show. And he was like, yeah, he didn't think he was going to remember. I was like, how am I forget? It was his 18th birthday, and he had all the white boys in the crowd. Damn. <laughs> but he was like, he was he was, he was, was the man. How man. crazy is it now to go back and do his first festival? I'm, I'm just grateful he called me. Can you imagine if you was a piece of shit to him? Yeah, yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah. I, that's what I, I don't like when people treat people bad, bro, especially in music. But with him, to be honest, like, I knew he was going to go. Uh, Tierra Wire, I knew she was going to go. Mm. Look at they, you see people perform, you see, like, their comfort level. And, like, they brought their own fans. Right. You know, it don't got to be a gang of them because I wasn't even playing the, the best venues at the time. But, right. yeah, Jack always been, he always been good. Hey, so music-wise, so we know you got the festivals. Mm -hmm. What about the uh, album or anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working try, close? Yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm close. I'm going to try to put something out. I go to Europe in June, so I'm going to try to put something out before How long we you go out there. Six weeks. You stay. You when you when you lock into music like the same way with television, mm -hmm. right? We were like, oh, we need to get Vince in, and Corey was like, oh, we locked into this right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying with the television part of Vince. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the music, you get locked in even more so on the focus. Like I'm going to Europe. I'm recording whatever it may be. You you lock in. Well, it's just I feel like with music. um, it's a lot more you got to do to have connectivity kind of to the fans. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that you are, I haven't been here in probably like five, six, seven years. So yeah. it's like you got to try to make sure that you go see these people that support you to keep the interest going because mm -hmm. you can't just like, you know, if you forget about them, they forget about you. Type right, you especially now, bro. For sure. They yeah. real fickle now. Mm -hmm. You hear that they gone tonight, bro. Believe that. Are yeah. the fans more intense in Europe? I've never been, so I wouldn't. Oh, no, not okay. at all. Not at all. I think um, I thought they I, f I feel like they love different over there. Yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Like out here, we a lot more intense. I think um, you, when you start doing international, like I think they just processing the music a little bit differently, mm -hmm. processing us a little bit differently because they're not used to it. But out here, like it don't get no more intense than like really you know, American crowd. Because I I oh man, and, and the reason why I say 
I felt like they they look at different music different, and I feel like they feel it different. Like when we before we were doing a lot of festivals here, there was always mm -hmm. festivals in the UK or other parts of the world that you'll say like, man, I remember the Far Side with Gil Scott here, and I was like, we're performing with who, mm -hmm. you know? And th then these major lineups, right? And I just felt like it's always like, cause see here, especially here. Oh man, I see that N word at the house. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Are, are we used to just seeing somebody? Some places they not even used to seeing you. Exactly. You know, so it's just, it's, I thought it was like a different kind of love that you yeah, see. Yeah, it, it is. And it's like, well, when we used to think about intense, I'm thinking about like screaming and, and <laughs> right. stuff like that. But when like, you play in certain countries, especially a lot of uh, uh, places in Asia, like they clapping <laughs> after songs. And it's just like yeah. a weird kind of, the way they show they preaching is different. I feel like what you're speaking about, when we do a lot of the European um, festival yeah. runs, like, I think they just there for music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they checking everybody out. Like, it's not really any empty stages. It's not really right. anybody that's like, unless it's something that they really want to see, they'll generally sit and watch and kind of go through everybody's set. So that's something I do appreciate about being out there because you'll find people that are looking for new music to listen to out here. I feel like you'll have people that go to shows just to see the artists that they like, which isn't a problem, but mm -hmm. it's just much different than so out there. So we can see something music-wise by June. Yeah, for sure. Easy call. Hey, for man, sure. there's something that you said that really uh, tears me up still. When you said something, paraphrasing, you don't give gifts. You don't give people presents. Now, I really second guess giving somebody something because you do wait for them to open it up or you do wait for some kind of acknowledgement. Yes. And thank you for messing that up for me. You're welcome, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I feel like, you know... We just need new perspectives. You know what I mean? If somebody wants something, then I get you a gift. Just tell me what you want. I ain't finna rapping and shit. Like, <laughs> right. here you go. Like, let's go pick it up. Right. But yeah. it's like... Like, I, you know you want it. Why am I gonna rap it? Yeah, I mean, it's like... I feel like the problem is, like, people getting me gifts. Because it's like, what you gonna give me? Like, come on, let's be honest. Right. Like, especially, like, you know you know, you know how somebody getting you a gift that you know counts. is your money? Right. Oh. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, let's just, let's just cut all this out right now. Like, <laughs> We don't even got to do this. Like, oh, we cool. Look at all these boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank are, you. Are you in a relationship? No, oh, yeah, yeah, man. No, yeah, no. yeah. A friend of mine, I heard that that happens with him. <laughs> yeah. Would it be these beautiful gifts, man? It's like, where did this come from? Yeah. Look at all this stuff you got me, bro. And you're not in a relationship now? It seems like you'll be hard. Not hard to be in a relationship with. Oh, oh I But it seems like there's no sugar coating to you. Oh, I'm finna get married, bro. Watch, watch. I'm finna get married. I'm finna have kids. Watch, give me six months. <laughs> <laughs> For the kid and marriage? So you'll be have somebody pregnant give within me 12 six months. months. Give me 12 months. <laughs> and you're gonna have a baby look, look, and a I'm, wife. I'm on the path, bro. Yeah, I know that. I'm getting been there. on the path. I'm getting there. 12, watch, give me 12 months. I'm finna be married. I'm finna have a kid. I, give me two years. Because then the kid got to, I got to see how the kid looks. Right Wait, before you <laughs> present it, yeah. Before, but like, yeah, I get what you're saying. I, I, I got confused. Thought you talking about your homie. I was like, who? who I know your homie. But <laughs> no, nah, nah. look, I was talking about me to tell you the look, truth, man. Well, me and my wife. Look, look, give me two years, right? Mm -hmm. Two years, I'm gonna pop out with the best, smart baby, two languages. You feel me? In two years, two years, smart. Because I gotta, I gotta teach the little dude the languages and shit. All right, two years, and you know two languages. <laughs> I don't know none. All right, <laughs> right. So look. But I'm, the baby, you, because we want our kids to be better than us. Yeah, I'm, I'm pop, I'm popping out married, mm -hmm. baby, two languages, dark skinned baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dark skinned baby, uh, nappy hair. Like, yes, sir. The, what we need, we need more of that. You feel me? Yeah. It, it's a little, it's not enough waves in our current community. Mm -hmm. So give me two years, you're gonna see who's cracking. I, I already got it, bro. I already got it mapped out. So, but you don't have a female. Look, don't worry about. It. No, I got all of that <laughs> okay. ready. All right. You don't want to be surprised. That's my problem with you. Look, I'm popping out. <laughs> Look, I don't know we had a problem. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look, I'm popping out, bro. Right. Give me two years. Two years. Mary. Mary. Dark, dark skinned skin baby, baby. Speaking two languages. Two languages. Nice. Trust me. With wavy hair, nappy hair. Nap nappy waves. You know the ones that are it's like it's mad in the back, but yeah. it's waved in the front. And you already know that. And yeah. two languages. And two languages. Two ah. black languages, too. Mm. Yeah, like English and like a Portuguese. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I'm on the path. Really I'm though, and you we you, gonna talk about that too. I got trust me, man. Trust me, I got you. We gotta so line it up. So two years from now, we'll sit down and I'll say, man, you wasn't playing. Yeah, the baby gonna be right here, <laughs> translating. <laughs> so. You gonna enter? You gonna interview the baby, and then I'm gonna translate. Right. Okay. So 
in two years, not only are you going to have all that, you're going to have the baby and you're going to translate the two languages that you don't know already. Yeah, because the baby going to teach me. <laughs> so mine's not going to be perfect. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But enough where you're like, man, he took the initiative to learn that. Look, man, look, man, I'm trying to right my wrongs. You right. feel me? I'm on a good I'm on a good track. So once the baby know two languages, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ship the Give nigga out, back. send him to uh, Portugal. At what age? Early. Like, I'm talking about like 13. Okay, so you get shipped to Portugal. Shipped to Portugal, you know what I mean? Start being a diplomat. We getting in the government. Like all this hip-hop, this all R&B. This is all written. I'm so serious. All yes. this hip-hop and R&B, all this entertainment is over. We getting in the government. We getting in the world politics. We getting in the insider trading. We doing all the stuff that you're supposed to be doing, all the things that really get you money. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? City planning, city development, we still in budgets. Like I'm really trying to I'm really trying to change the world. Hey man, what do you feel about people on Ozempic? I mean, look, get your money, bro. Yeah. This the thing I just found out what that was. Mm-hmm. I live a very sheltered ghetto life. Right. <laughs> so I can't really tell you much about Ozempic, but I can tell you who went in all the T ball games at Silverado Park. <laughs> and I can tell and I can tell you about the ten row team. The ten right. row team, Silverado Park got a cold ten row team. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cherry Park, we always been the best. So it's you know, it's kinda uh, you know what I mean? And then the travel ball situation is weird right now with the with the little kid baseball. Mm. It's a lot of daddy ball going on. I think right. it's a lot of steroid abuse. It's a lot of fake birth certificates. I can't mm. prove it, but these little niggas big. <laughs> yeah. So same yeah. with basketball, man. My son plays travel basketball. So you know, we've been at games where we parked, and one of the people he playing against parked next to us. Uh huh. Yeah. When they're not even supposed yeah. to be driving. Walked, pulled up. No yeah. seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. Another one had a, a a child. Yeah. My son was playing a fourteen U. I can see fourteen with the baby though. Mm. I can see 14 with the baby. But no, nah, this baby spoke two languages. <laughs> see why we got to step it up. You know, you know, yeah. This baby spoke two languages, man. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, matted hair, as you would say, so on and so forth, man. So maybe you told that kid's story. Look, man, look, if I see another kid that's doing what my kid going to do, we going to step up, I got to step it up. Do you vote? This is an election year. Do you pay attention to any of that? Nah, but I'm off my paper, so I can I can vote now for real and get, oh. you know, get all my stuff together, you feel me? I'm fully expunged, mm. so I'm, I don't know who I'm gonna vote for, but I might. I'm, I might. But you know you're gonna do it. I got to. My granny did. Or at least knowing you can. Yeah, you know what I mean. I ain't going to jury duty. They're gonna have to catch me. Right. They're gonna have to. No, catch you got to do jury duty. They're gonna have to catch me. Nah, brother, you got to do jury duty. They gotta catch me. You know why? Why? Because you're supposed to be judged by your peers, right? Yeah, but where they gonna send me? Ain't no colors up there. Oh. Okay. So yeah. I'ma naturally just be like life. Right. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, man. As soon as they walk out, you're like, man, give them life. They be like, wait, hold on, man. This is, this is a driving incident. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. So mm-hmm. anybody give you, I'm you gonna, you gonna do to them every, what they did to us, bro? They gonna try to send me to Van Nuys, bro. That's where my jury duty supposed to be at. They, I'm, I'm washing shit, bro. I'm sorry, I can't help it. But Van Nuys, you'll see a lot of, you know. Black and brown in there. Not that nah, you're supposed to write them all. I, I know it ain't a lot of black and no Van Nuys catching no cases. At the it's my a, cases were through Van Nuys. Well, then you you we talk or, about different cases. You get what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to go to the big shit. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the hot ones, and I ain't really trying to get in their politics. That ain't my business. But if I get if I get like a like a like a Bartholomew, mm, or if I then get, you know, uh, yeah, I'm washing them. I'm washing them up a mill house. Right. I'm gonna wash them <laughs> right, up. Right, right. <laughs> it is what it is. And if I get one of us, if I get you know, if I get a familiar, I'ma just try to he gonna they gonna have to get him on the street because I just can't that's tell so I can't tell. So you but, know already if that jury duty come, you 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 ignoring it. Huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. Hey man. I lived a long life, my friend. Do you get recognized even more so where you go now? I don't know. I ain't looking for it. So you gotta walk up to me and say something to me and that ain't he won't be doing stuff like that to me. But probably, but I don't I don't be having interactions with people. Man, what's in your head? I be in and out. I mean, what you mean? Like, somebody look at you like, what's up, bro? They be like, what's up? Right. Hey, and right. then sometimes you don't know where some people recognize you from. Yeah. Are they looking because uh Yeah, so I just be like, what's up? Like, you know, you got to uh, approach them with love, but I don't really think I come across as like the most... Um, Approachable person, yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> no, so it ain't really happening like that. But when no. it happened, I'd be nice to people. I take the pictures and all that. But like, it don't. I can't really say more. Like, you don't have hip hop friends. Yeah, I got hella hip hop friends. Okay, I got like I got like seven. Okay, eight, probably probably ten. Right, that you cool with. 
Yeah. But sure. but you don't do all the clicking up and everything. I mean, as far as what? Like hip hopping? Like yeah. The clubs and stuff? Clubs? Yeah. Why would I go to a club? Yeah. I don't drink. Mm. That's true. I don't drink. I don't party. I don't dance. I don't listen to music. So, what you do at your show? <laughs> <laughs> Get paid, right? <laughs> hey man, so you d- did you ever drink? No, nah. never. Mm-hmm. You ne- have you ever gotten drunk once or mm-hmm. never drank alcohol in my life? Never been to the club, but have I been to? I went to the club once. I went to the club once for the homie. Uh, my DJ was DJing, so for him to get paid. You don't do after parties mm-hmm. on tour or nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm cool. I appreciate like the I, I like the lane, but it's just not for me. Got to know who you are, my friend. So if somebody came and, and said, "Man, we doing such and such tonight." Already, we know you're not gonna show up. Nope. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna go though. I'm yeah, not same. Gonna, I'm not gonna be like, yeah. "Oh yeah, I'll be there." I'm gonna say, "Nah, I'm cool." Yeah, same, dude. People, they don't, people don't. I don't get invited places. They know if you know me, you're not gonna invite me to your stuff. You know, it's my 30 year anniversary for radio, so I already know whatever I do, I'm not gonna invite you. Is it gonna be during the day? Why, Vince? If it's before if it's before five, you got me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm for real, like, so if we're doing like miniature golf for the 30 oh, year anniversary there. or something. I'm for sure there. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. for sure there. But if it's a club night. Nah, I'm cool. Then you oh, all right. So. I go to the brunch and all that. No. Right. I went hey. to I, I go to the what's it called? What's the shit called? Uh the we Rock went Nation? To, went to the other day. No, no. Oh, okay. We go to the other day. My lawyer got an award at like some like music cares event type <laughs> shit. I was there. <laughs> what yeah. time was it? It was like 11 a.m. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <I was> <laughs> With no after party, you know nothing. Nope, at the Hollywood Bowl. I was there, yeah. Do you do red carpets? Nah. I'm not a, I'm not winning no awards. So for me, it's like, like, what's the point of doing that other than to be seen? Mm-hmm. Like, what's the reason? What about when they give awards for people to show up? If you get an award, then that's like a consolation. I'm not getting no awards. Right. So it's yeah, like, because you know, just being on this side, too, I know how some people is like, oh, I, I, I'm showing up because they're giving me. Yeah, and I think I think that's fair. But like for, like for somebody who clearly not getting no award, I never even been nominated for nothing. So like so if why I'm go? showing up, that's just it's weird to me personally. It's like I get it. Some people like the experience, but I, I'm just not that kind of person. Have you been to the Grammys? Experience. Nah. So definitely no American Music Awards, mm-hmm. none of that. Mm-hmm. I've never been to a worship award. I went to the BET Awards. Right. Just uh, to see. Year, I performed and I got an award. Oh, okay. Know? So you had a, a purpose and a reason. Yeah. Other, other than, that. than that, you ain't wasting time to even yeah, just if hang I, out. Like, if I'm involved in something, I'll go. But I'm saying just to go to go and like be a part of it when you're not really a part of it, I don't have like an interest for that. Hey, man, what about dressing up? Do you like dressing up? Yeah, I got all the, I got all the shits. I got okay. the suits. I got the, the ties, the shoes. Okay. I was going to ask you, because you know DJ Head, right? Yeah. DJ Head would not... Backwards hat with the sweatsuit. Uh, he would not obey a dress code mm-hmm. to save not his life, anyone's life. Yeah, he's too hip-hop. Right, right. He what way, does that mean? He way too hip-hop. Right? Right. He's 90, he 98, too. He like Friday hip-hop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, when you say he too hip-hop, is there a look that you look at and say, man, yeah, they do you're doing not me per- personally, but I know when Head put his outfit on yeah, and man. look in the mirror, he like this hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know that's what. Happened. And and then he say West Coast like yeah. under his breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look at him, so like yeah, West Coast. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I don't kill him with this. Yeah, that's what he goes. Take it off, put it back on. Take the hat off, put it back on. Take it off, put it back yeah, on. Make, make sure it's directly back. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he a good dude, man. I had a my uh, birthday party, and he showed up and on on, on the invite. Said, you know, dressed to impress or whatever the words were. And he came in uh, black cap, turning backwards for this one. I like that. Yeah. He yeah, tried because you know he tried. He, yeah. he gave a little bit of thought. He mm-hmm. gave a little bit of thought. And he, I thought he was wearing a sweater, but it turned out to be a West Coast sweatshirt when he turned around and said West Coast. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Like, he, you got you got to go like a cable knit or something like that. Right. Head, come on, my Well, we'll talk to him after we get out of here. Yeah, he we're never def- going to do it. We'll definitely talk to him when we get out of here, man. Are you into basketball? You watching any of this uh, March Madness stuff? I'm going to be honest, bro. I ain't watched a sporting event in probably like five years. Damn. No boxing? No, nothing. Super Bowl? Nothing. No. You didn't watch Usher in the Super Bowl? No. Nah. You're like, why? I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I just, I just, man, be, wor- I just be working, bro. Like, if I'm not working on it, I don't pay attention to it. Huh. Like, unless, like, if it's, I listen to my friends' albums. Mm-hmm. And, like, I watch a lot of stuff that come out just for work. Um, but other than that, bro, I'm not I'm not digesting. What does a day look like for you? Depend. The other day, I had to cut down a tree. 
because uh, we had a, it was a storm and then they like kind of snapped the branch off the tree. I got an oak tree, and I don't want that to fall on nobody's house. So I got the ladder mm-hmm. and I got the rope tied the branch. And you down. did it yourself. Yeah, solo. A joy in that. I, I just had to cut the tree down. It was like <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> It just take a long time. Right. Yeah, it just take a long time. Why not call out a service? I mean, you can call out a service. You know, spend what fifteen hundred. Mm. The best chainsaw you can buy costs like two hundred. Do you do DoorDash to the house? Nah, nah, nah. I used to, but it's like it's too crazy. I'm not waiting forty five minutes and paying an extra twenty dollars yeah. for you to come and bring it yeah, to I'm me. Yeah, I'm cool. And give it to me cold. Yeah, I'm cool. Hell yeah. It, it's, it just feel lazy. Like the older I get, it feel lazy. Do you cook at the house? Yeah, for sure. If we were, were to come to the crib, what's the what's the meal? For one, I know we're not gonna come. Yeah, I'm not cooking. Yeah, right. I'm not cooking. I can get some pizza. Do you invite people to the house? Yeah, my family. My okay. Family. Well, I don't invite them. They be there though. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah I, they be there. Are you the one that made it? In my family? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Are more people proud of you than you proud of yourself? Uh, I, we don't talk about that to be honest. Right. It's never been a conversation. I'm pretty sure my family proud of me, and I'm pretty sure I'm proud of myself. But like we all, <laughs> I don't. We don't really never. Hey had that man, comment. what was the time when Vince was in the neighborhood and I asked him about something? Yeah, when you was like saying, uh, don't. Oh yeah, you tell somebody if you look, do I look fat in this? Like yeah, you yeah, know, I yeah, see we that look every fat day, in this. Man, you set me up. <laughs> nah, yeah. we, we just look fat right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the reason why I brought that up was when you're like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of you," and when you said the expression doesn't change, it does not change. Yeah, I mean, shit, man. It is what it is, bro. You know, gotta stay level headed. Everybody got the same life, bro. Ain't nobody special like that. <laughs> that's that's just my point of view. You know, are you? Do you have a uh, nephews or a niece? Are you an uncle? Yeah. I are you a, the cool uncle? I got a, uh, nah. No, no, not at all. I be tripping. I keep them square, bro. You got to keep them square. All that cool shit out. Yeah, I want to be your friend. Right. You know what I mean? You you a child. Right. You know what I mean? We don't, we not, we not kicking it. (laughs) Right. I'm your uncle. I I go to a game or something. Like, if you good. (laughs) Right. Don't be embarrassing us. Yeah, no. My my nephew good, though. My nephew good. And uh, my niece, she in the pen right now. So free my nigga, man. But but my (laughs) nephew. But my nephew, my nephew, good, you know. So your niece in, in the pen. It's a long story. We talk about it. Later. But how young is she? She, she ain't that young. Really yeah, though. She grown. Thug life, man. Living it up. You know what I mean? I know she don't want me to tell nobody that. Right, right, right. You know, but shout out my nigga, man. We respect that. Yeah, man. Fight hard. Hey, man. <laughs> With hip hop right now, man, we seeing the so called. Uh, you probably not even paying attention to this big three and uh, Kendrick. Drake oh, yeah. I seen and that. yeah, I seen that. And um, J Cole and J Cole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that is that good for hip hop that competition, or you haven't even really looked at it? Look, man, you know, ever float they boat, my mm-hmm. brother. I ain't, you know, I ain't changed my life to fight with people over who's you know stupid shit. Right, <laughs> that's that's dumb to me. Hey, man, do you know how to stay in and out of everything just enough? Uh, yeah, I ain't never had no rap issues with nobody. Mm-hmm. I don't get how that happened. I, I probably ain't reached a level of success to have that kind of kind of um, issues, but nah, I'm not. Do you like where you are, though, super serving your audience, doing what you want to do, as opposed to the things you feel like you have to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, we all do things we feel like we have to do, but, mm-hmm. you know, um, life changes, you know, for the better or for the worse. You got to do whatever you can do. To kind of accommodate those changes and kind of keep your peace of mind and your integrity and your humanity or whatever else you want in the world, you know. And I think that that's just kind of where I'm gonna sit, regardless of whatever level I get to. Mm. Ani right here that work with us, man. Yeah. Ani's never had a boyfriend. Oh, right. Yeah. But she doesn't know. Like when you tell somebody I'm not going, mm-hmm. that's killing it on the vine. And that way you'll say, okay, like somebody hit me up and they say, hey, can we give you a T-shirt? And it wasn't disrespectful. I just said, you know what? I'm not going to wear it. The same with I don't wear hats. So when somebody say, oh, we want to give you a hat, I'm like, man, you know, can you hand it to somebody else? Because really, I don't wear hats. I'm not going I'm not going to wear it. You kill it on the vine. She don't know how to tell somebody, you know, oh, can we go out? She give them the number like, oh, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. And then she okay. knows she don't want to go out with the person. Maybe That's another why, time. Yeah, maybe another time. Do you try to kill things 
on the vine without beating around the bush? Like professionally, like with music stuff. Both. Professionally, I don't. He that you gotta talk to him. Mm -hmm. I don't talk to people. Got gotcha. no business shit. Unless I know you in real life, and then I, you know I'm not gonna do it, so you're not gonna ask me. Right, right. Um, in real life, I mean, yeah, you know, it depends on what it is. I'm gonna say I don't want to, but I still do it. I do that a lot. Mm. Like, hey, bro, can you help me? I'm, I don't feel like it, but yeah. Yeah, but you know what? That that's totally di not not totally different. But you're the go to guy, and that's different heart kind of stuff too, though. Yeah, I mean, because like, I try to say no. Yeah, like I'm I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh man, I'm so sorry that you know you lost your uh, Cadillac converter. Right. Like I'm not gonna <laughs> That's not where my head gonna be at, but like I'm gonna help you if I can. Right. If I get fine if I ain't with it right now, I ain't with it right now. Do you change your number a lot? Not no more. I used to though. Mm. I used to change my number like every every month, every other month. Really though. Do you get tired of people? Uh huh. Mm hmm Well now nowadays not really. I don't really I kinda set my life up to where I don't have to worry about that. But um yeah, man. Hey, man, when the show comes and when the album comes and you know you're going to do interviews, do you ever feel like, ah, oh, shit, I um, got to do these interviews? No, not in a bad way, but you got to mentally prepare for it because mm -hmm. it is a lot, um, like, kind of time after time, and you want to try to make sure that you have a different, I guess, approach or different kind of answer style for, mm -hmm. you know, the person's kind of interview style. But you know it's important, like... um Everybody gonna be mad when don't nobody want to talk to them no more. I guess right. So um, you don't. I don't think you. Um, I don't think it's a negative thing, but I think it's more so like you gotta mentally prepare yourself to kind of play the the game of doing you know five things at once in gotcha. one day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, making sure they all nuanced and different, especially because you know that people are gonna digest it. So I think that's really the hardest part is preparing yourself mentally to do the different things at once. Are y'all talking with Netflix to do more? And we, yeah, we shows. Have, yeah, we have a means. We trying to figure out. Um, I hope so. What man. works out? Just, just as a viewer and as 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 someone that enjoyed the show. Yeah, I appreciate. Like it, man. it went through fast for me, bro. And I found myself wanting, wanting more, which is a good thing when it comes to somebody that you see that's in a creative area. Thank you, man. We we working on the main. It was the first time ever doing any of that stuff, so it can only you know get better from here. Will you do more acting? Yeah, hopefully. I I've I've done I've done some yeah. small stuff. I'm trying to get more into it. You know, it just takes time, so you gotta really apply yourself in like audition. I've been I've been auditioning probably for the past five years. Oh Honestly, really though? Yeah, I just ain't really got nothing. There was a great response that you got when you showed up on Ale a Abbott Elementary. Were you surprised that people loved seeing you there or how was your experience? Uh I wasn't really surprised because uh Quinta just honestly threw me a layup. Mm. And she was like, "Hey, I want you to do this. I made this for you to do it." No so, audition. Yeah, so it it, it was. Um, I knew, I knew, I didn't really know much about the character before I got there. Besides what she told me, obviously, but she kind of made sure that it was gonna be easy mm -hmm. um, for me to be honest. Is there anything that you audition for that we've seen now? Uh, yeah. I mean, I auditioned for Snowfall. Oh shoot! Uh, wait, did we audition for Snowfall? Yeah, I auditioned for Snowfall. Um, I auditioned for. Uh, I forgot what it was. was it like one of the Force main characters for Snowfall, or just it, like it was different. It was different back then. I, I I had got like a callback or like a pilot testing or something like that. We was on tour, so I couldn't do it. But then after that, everything switched around. Anyway. Okay, so it was it was something small. I don't think it was something too was it was a larger character. Um, I, it's another. It was like the Steve Carell workplace comedy that had like a small role for that I auditioned for. I audition for a lot of stuff. I just honestly can't remember all of it because it'd be working titles and all this other stuff. Right. But, That's yeah. crazy, man, because you would think that in the breakdowns, people would say a Vince Staples type. Sometimes, like you wouldn't yeah. have to audition. But sometimes that don't mean, you yeah. know, you might not be able to execute. And that's what I do appreciate about um, film and television for the most part is that you're going to have to really be able to execute it. And I've done some stuff. We did some pilots and stuff that didn't come out. Right. And, um, we saying. did good at And um. I just I like those experiences though because you kind of learn by being on set, and then it helps you. Like yeah. doing my show, and having to watch auditions. Now I get why I didn't get none of those auditions. Right. Hey man, I remember I didn't get a part, and the breakdown said big boy type, mm -hmm. and I was like, dude, I'm big boy. Like man, I'm here. They're like, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well hey, well, you don't got this way. I was like, damn, it says big boy type right here. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I couldn't even play the part of big boy. Mm -hmm. You know, not that it was my life story, but yeah, it was. It said big boy type, and I I didn't book it, but that's all right. 
look, my brother. Yeah, talk to me. Sometimes it's not fair. Yeah. The yeah, world so, ain't yeah, fair, bro. Yeah, and we be and sometimes we can fuck it up. Like that's that's what I think we were talking about. Sometimes we do it and we be like, oh yeah, that wasn't. Oh yeah. That wasn't it. Yeah, I know when I'm not hitting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the shit said big boy type. Yeah, he's like, give me, yeah, give me benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, you know, at least give me a call back. Well, well, that's why they put that type and they just leave it that big boy. Yeah. They, had to, they had to get themselves an yeah, exit. Give me a call back and at least say we went in a different direction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel but it. it's it's all bad. Yeah, you know you ain't get it when they say we'll stay in touch. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. over with. Or we get back to you. It's over with. Yeah. Or when they go, ah. Oh. Yeah, or the fake the, the fake laugh when you audition. Yeah, thank you, thank you for your time. Yeah. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah like, okay, sure. thank you again. Yeah. Is it different now when you say you sat down and you had to watch auditions for for your show? Is it different do, do you know how to separate yourself like damn this person wanted to book this but it ain't happening? Yeah, I mean cuz it's like it's not really you see, you're looking for like subtle stuff. You're not mm-hmm. really looking for the lines. You're not looking for like gotcha. situations. You're looking for like subtleties and character moves. Because you got to think when you audition in somebody, at that point, you kind of got your Bible. You kind of know your tone. So you're looking for mannerisms and small things that are going to pick up and translate on camera. And the people auditioning don't necessarily know your shot list or much unless they got some insight. They don't mm-hmm. know what's going on. And even if they do have some insight, it's minimal. So, you know, you when can't. you put mm-hmm. Watomi Kwan on, were you looking for a Watomi Kwan type, or you knew you were getting Watomi Kwan? Uh, I just I asked him to do it after the success of it. Did people say, "Man, why you didn't put me in there?" Uh, no. I mean, people were saying the whole time, like, "Can I? Oh, let me get it. Let me get in it." Right. And um, I could I could do it to a certain extent, but even like I said, I everybody I said I wanted still had to audition. Right. It's yeah. crazy how the homies want to show up too, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, like I like even now, I got some guests that's sitting out there, you know, radio. They want to show up. If I was like moving, like for a moving service, yeah, nobody'd be up. like, "Man, what time are you getting up, man? I really want to get on that truck with you and yeah. move them couches, man." Like, well, I, I feel like it's just the glamour that's associated with it, and it seems fun. You know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, life is hard and has its perils and things like that. So people just want to have fun, have some sort of release. And I think the things that we do kind of make them feel like we having fun all right. the time. Yeah, man. And they just want a piece of that. And then they don't really know, you know, the ins and outs of it. I get people that think that we come in and we got the rest of our day at like 10, 11. Like, man, y'all just go in there. And, or I get people that think I'm always like, big boy. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so I really get people events that are say, man, are you okay? Like, you, you quiet. Mm-hmm. Or they don't know that, you know, yeah, as zany as, yeah, or as crazy as things may sound, that, you know, I represent a company. I got my own company. I got this, that. You know, I got people that work with me and for me and under me. And, and people don't see those things. They just hear phone taps and Luther Lufe. You know what I'm saying? Which I'll take. I ain't tripping off of. But, yeah, it's definitely a method to the, to the mayhem. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a reason that, you know, certain people got the job and certain people don't. You got to understand those nuances and those details and, Hell yeah. you know, do the best you can with them. Vince, I know that there were a lot of these, like, Easter eggs in your show with Quentin Tarantino. Was that purposely done by you? Like, are you a big, I, forgive me if not knowing, but I, are you a big Quentin Tarantino fan? Yeah, I mean, I like everything, um, especially when it comes to, like, TV and movies and stuff like that. Like, it's all good experiences. But, yeah, we got a lot of references all through the show. That was definitely um, my doing. Okay, can you name your top favorite Quentin Tarantino film? Oh, that's going to be hard. Uh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, Pulp Fiction, I'm based. No, Kill Bill. No, that's <laughs> nice. It's Kill Bill. <laughs> it's for sure Kill Bill. It's not even close. Nice. I wish it was Pulp Fiction, but it's just not. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill Bill. Why don't you just say everybody else is fake? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? I like Pulp Fiction a lot, but it ain't messing with Kill Bill. Mm-hmm. Did you? Uh, yeah. Did you know Pulp Fiction when Pulp Fiction was Pulp Fiction, or did you find it later? My parents was old, bro, so okay. we found it okay. <laughs> earlier. Okay. Yeah. And you know, my pops used to be getting high. So all the stuff you can get high to, we had in the house. We had Pulp Fiction. We had uh, Stand By Me. <laughs> we had uh, Lean On Me. Anything right. with me in it. Right, we, right, had, right. we had the Inkwell. <laughs> what was the other one with Jim Carrey? Uh, Which one? Me and Irene or something. Oh, me, me, my, me, me myself, and Irene. Irene. Uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. My pops was turning on the white folks' movies, getting zooted. Hey man, yeah. <laughs> do you watch a lot of movies still? Uh, yeah, I watch them more now than I did then. To be honest, is it easier to watch movies now because a lot doesn't go to theaters? Yeah, you can stream now for sure. Yeah, for sure. You can stumble upon something that you probably would have never saw. But what was the last one that you had a chance to check out? Have you seen that Roadhouse movie yet? Nah, I haven't seen that. Do you yet. watch any of them, like either documentaries or anything on A and E? Do you watch First Forty Eight and all that? I used to watch First Forty Eight all the time. That was Man, my thing. Uh, what's mine, scared bro. straight? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see some. For, let's see some. Talent first forty eight. There's there's one now called uh, Guilty or Innocent. You got to watch that, that one, man. It's like a case where, say, for instance, you do something and you call the case, mm -hmm. and it's the whole thing. The whole show is them talking to you, what happened with the case, so on and so forth. And then at the end, we see if you go home or if you go to jail. That's fire. Yeah, man. That's, that's messed up, but yeah. that's fire. Do you watch 60 Days In? <laughs> I ain't seen it. You see, you put me on game right 60 now. Sixty days in, that's where like you say, "Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna go into cover in jail for sixty days," and you go into a program called Sixty Days In. These is cops or these are like regular people? These are just regular people that think they can go and do sixty days. Man, I think, yeah. Oh yeah, and you can tap out when you want. You see, some dudes be like, "Yeah, you know, this is what I do. I eat this time for breakfast," and then and then they give you a signal before you go in. It's like you know, if you're distressed or you need us, you know, you just go or you say, "Man, I got a headache. I got a headache." And you see these dudes like, yeah, man, this is what I do. This is what I do. Then you see the motherfuckers go, I got a headache. Yeah, and, and, and that's they, when you tap off. Yeah, yeah that, and they, and they never been to jail before. Yeah, some have, some that's have. The crazy part. Like yeah. some have. Like there's one dude on there locked up for like 20 years, but other people, and especially now, people just see the show anyway. and think they just want to try it. Yeah, yeah, one dude one night almost got his ass taken. That motherfucker was giving a signal like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man. Yeah, and ain't they don't run to, in and get yeah, you. Yeah, ain't nothing to play with. You better say and stay at home, man. Yeah, Make hell some yeah. Like, yeah. Why would you want to go mm. turn yourself in? The world for doing some time you don't have to do. Yeah, we got this infatuation with like this bravado. Everybody want to be tough. Yeah. So. Are you on social media a lot? And not only for work. Yeah, yeah and we, even work. with social media, man, we create these things now. Where I'm just like, man, are you serious? What used to be done in the dark is now in the light. I'm too old. For, I know what you're talking about. I'm too old for all that. that that's not in. That's yeah, not in, man. None of that shit. Man. I'm cool on all that. But, you know, God bless y'all. You know, when the police come. Yeah, exactly. Y'all going to know why. Yeah, man. And, yeah. And, and and they got it all. When mm -hmm. you walk in and they have it on the monitors and yeah. you carrying your guns and doing I'm like, man, it's goofy, bro. Oh, yeah. They got they They, they going to put your picture on the wall. Trust me. Hey, man, you know we're going to come back and play some Family Feud with you. Yeah, you already yeah. know. Do you watch Family Feud? Yeah, every day. Bro, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn what order Family Feud is in. Mm -hmm. Because it used to be where somebody would win, and then the next episode, yeah, they'd be, yeah. yeah. Like now, we're being in syndication. Game Show Network. It's, oh. it's, it's one and done. Yeah. So you wanted to host that, or you felt like you could? I hey, look, man. I like a job. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'd have had a couple jobs in my little tenure in the, in, the, in this music thing. I love a little. I love a little check every week, every other week. Mm. But I could for sure do that. You know, you, you need something to do when you're older. You can't just be the, you know, the old young dude. <laughs> I throw the suit on. I for sure throw the suit on. Hey, man, what did you do for your thirtieth? Nothing. I don't think I did nothing. Yeah, I was chilling. No dirty thirty party. Nah, I'm cool. Cake. Uh, Nah. nah, I don't really eat cake like that. <laughs> yeah. I was just chilling. Right. No celebration for yourself. Nah, man. No I mean, special day. I do enough. Yeah, I do enough. People didn't even know like the day after. People didn't even know your birthday was yesterday. People probably talked to you that day yeah, and didn't nah. know. I mean, everybody hit me with the happy birthday. What you doing? I'm chilling. All right, for sure. Yeah, you know, regular. They, they if if you know me, you know well enough. I ain't doing all that extra stuff. They just quit. You know what I mean? He used to try. He quit. Right. Thankful. Who, <laughs> Corey? Yeah, I'm thankful. He quit. He like, quit. And what did he try? Like, man, let's just he do be something. parties and shit. Like, what are we doing? Like, get a bag to walk through? Nah. Nah, I ain't never done a walk through. Yeah. Ever. I'll never do that shit. You see me at CVS for you see me doing a walk through. It is not my personality. Like, I'm not finna walk through no club, bro. Yeah, we definitely see you at CVS. We'll know from that long ass receipt when it's hanging out your car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm like, man, what the hell? Like, I guess I'll give me some uh some eye ointment or something like that on my next <laughs> visit. So we're gonna come back, man. We're gonna uh do some family feud with you. And you good as a player too? I'm cold, bro. All right. Big boys Big neighborhood, boy. Ben Staples up in here, what? family feud. We're gonna play some fast money, fast money round. I'm gonna put 20 seconds on the clock, and you say this is what you do. All righty. I got you. Here we go. Ben Staples. <laughs> Name a popular color of a car. Red. All righty. Name a fruit you might find in a smoothie. Strawberry. Name something you do when you wake up in the morning. Brush your teeth. Name a popular pizza topping. Pepperoni. Name a sport played without a ball. Hockey. Hockey. All righty now. Name a popular color for a car. He said red. And the top answer wasn't red. Right. But it Black. was 
the second most popular, and that was 27. All right. I'm going for number one. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Number one was black. All righty oh, now. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Name a fruit you might find in a smoothie. He says strawberry. 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 And it is- Strawberry was Strawberry the top answer. Number one answer. Go ahead. Where's my dings at up here, man? Come on. Dang. All righty now. <laughs> Name something you do when you wake up in the morning. He said, he said brush, brush teeth. your teeth. That was the top answer, baby. Go babe. ahead now. All righty now. Name a popular pizza topping. Vince said pepperoni, and that was the top answer. Go ahead with your bad self. Name a sport played without a ball. He said hockey. And that was the top answer. Go ahead now. Oh, wow. Did you go online and find these? Like I you just did? want you to know I really do this every day of my life. <laughs> and I was going to change it to black, but then I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay solid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about from our rehearsal? Yeah, from our rehearsal. Yeah. When, our, when we had technical difficulties yeah, technical and I read you the first one? Yeah, it made me think. Yeah, it made yeah. me think. And I was like, nah, it ain't creative like that. And you stayed with it. You stayed with it. All right. <laughs> Name a type of weather. Uh, sunny. Name a reason people might dance. Party. Name a famous Disney character. Mickey. Name something people do on vacation. Uh, relax. Name a fast food restaurant. McDonald's. All righty now. See, that ain't fair. You ain't even let me know. You yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly why I did it, man. I can't have you walking out of here thinking you did very well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, you're not going to make yourself feel good and make uh, me feel bad. Yeah. I'm the host. All righty. I don't even need no tallies on that. He right. did like shit. <laughs> Vince Staples in the neighborhood, Big Boy's neighborhood.